everyone, so I've already applied my foundation and the foundation I use today is by Makeup Forever. I'm now gonna use my Makeup Forever concealer to highlight my face. I highlight under my eye, on my nose, and on my chin area, and this just creates a really nice highlighted look. I'm taking my damp beauty blender and I'm just going to use that to blend in all of the highlights. Now I'm going to go straight into contouring and I'm taking this stick concealer by NARS and I'm just drawing in the areas where there are shadows or where I want to increase more shadows to make my face look more chiseled. And I'm using a small brush with the same concealer on the nose area. I'm now taking a brush and I'm just going to blend this in so that it looks really seamless and flawless. I'm taking another brush and this one's really good just to blend in the contour around the nose area. Now I'm gonna apply my eyeshadow base all over my eyelid. I'm going into one of my favorite palettes of the moment is the Coco Blend by Zoeva and I'm taking this color called Substitute for Love and it's just really great for transitioning your eyeshadow. I'm just using a fluffy brush just to blend that into my crease. I'm now taking the dark matte brown which is called Beans Are White and a brush and I'm just going to place this on the outer corner of my eyelid. And then I'm just gonna take a blending brush and then blend that into the crease area. I'm now gonna go in with Freshly Toasted, which is kind of like a brick brown, and I'm just going to blend this into my crease. For the eyelid, I'm using Pure Ganache, which is a really lovely shimmery color. It's kind of like Amber Lights by MAC. I think this really, really, really gorgeous with the dress. I'm going back in with Freshly Toasted and a pencil brush, and I'm just going to apply this to the lower lash line just to make that area pop. And then just to define the eyes a bit more, I'm going in with Infusion, which is kind of like a sparkly brown. And then I'm taking a brush and I'm just gonna blend this into the crease. Now I'm gonna go in with my eyeliner. I'm using my favorite Inglots and I'm using an angled brush just to apply my wing. Um, I initially wanted a really you know, thin wing, but then it turned out to be really messy on the other side, so I had to correct it. I'm taking my eye pencil and I'm just going to tight line and line my waterline. I'm going to curl my lashes and then I'm going to follow with my mascara and I'm using the Tarte Gifted one. And then I'm going to powder the area underneath my eye using the Prep and Prime powder by MAC. I'm also going to add a bit of bronzer and um, for my bronzer I'm actually using just a darker shade powder. I'm going to powder my whole face just to set the makeup. I'm going to add my highlight and I'm using Mary Luminizer which is my favourite of the moment because this just really adds a lovely glow. Onto the lips, my trusty lip combination of the moment. I'm just using this one by Black Up just to outline the lips. Following with my Ciate Lip Velvet all over the lips. I'm going to take a darker lip pencil also by Black Up and this is just going to define the lips a bit more. I'm just gonna clean up the area around the mouth using some concealer. And then to finish off the look, I'm using these lashes by MAC. They're really flirty and really full, and I really like them. And now I just have to wait for them to dry. And here's the finished look. This is a dress that I featured in my last haul and lots of you wanted to see it on so I thought I'd share that in this video. I really love the look, it's very flirty, very fun and it's such a cute look to wear for a cocktail party.